So grills can have a variety of uses in a project. They can be used to conceal elements you don't want people to see in that project, such as plumbing fixtures and pipes. They can also be used as aesthetical elements to add embellishment to a project, and they can also serve as sun shading devices. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Henry, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create automatic grills in Autodex Revit. So this is not the typical model in place you start using extrusions and sweep. This is going to be seamless. We are going to be using the cutting wall system. So you can repeat it easily in other parts of a single project so if you haven't done so make this the video a hit the like button consider subscribing to this channel because trust me you won't regret it if you want to improve on your architectural skills because we drop content like this on a weekly basis don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos with that out of the way let's jump into the main subject at hand all right so the first thing to do is to create our grail panel to do that we are going to go to file under file we are going to click on new under this new, we're going to just hover around it and we're going to click on family. Then under family, if you work with the imperial system, you can use this imperial family template library. But me, I'm going to go back and I'm going to use the English metric library. Then I'm going to go over to this metric cutting wall panel and I'm not just going to click OK. So now this is going to open an interface for us to model the panel. So what we want to model is the single individual grail element. So what we are going to do first is we are going to click on this reference plane. So we are now going to reduce the distance of this reference plane. So if you reduce this distance, it's also going to apply here because this equalizer means that any distance at this side will apply to this side. So currently I want our grails to be as long as 1.2. So I'm going to just change this to 600. So once it's 600 on the other side, the total length will be 1.2. So now this is done, we are in a good position. So we are just going to simply go to create. Under create, we are going to go to sweep. Under this sweep, we are going to go to sketch part. Then we are just going to draw our line on this reference plane here. Then we are going to draw it to this point. So once it's done, we are going to click on finish. We are now going to click on select profile. We are going to click on edit profile. Then we are going to click on 3D view or let's just click on one of these elevations so it will be straightforward so now what we are going to do is we are going to make sure that the height of our slanted panel does not exceed 100 millimeters because that is the size i want it to be so firstly i'm going to zoom in i'm going to draw a line and put the value of 100 here then i'm going to draw another line impute the value of 50 i'm also going to click on escape draw another line impute the value of 50 then i'm just going to slant it like this so once this is done i'm going to click on delete i'm going to delete these two lines so it should just be this slanted line remaining then i'm going to click on offset then i'm going to offset five five millimeters from each side i'm going to make sure this copy is checked on so i'm going to offset this offset this then i'm just going to use this line here and i'm going to close this loop i'm going to pick from this point to this other point forming a 10 millimeter thick panel then I'm going to delete the center line. Of course, we don't want this panel to be long like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this offset tool. Then we're going to be offsetting 20 millimeter from each side to reduce the height. So in the case of this offset, we're going to check off this copy. Then we're going to offset from this point and offset from this point. Then what we're going to do, we're going to click on this select arc tool. Then we're going to pick this line, pick this line and just create an arc here. Pick this line, pick this line, create an arc here. Pick this line, pick this line another arc here pick this line pick this line the reason why i'm doing this is that in most cases of all these fabrications the edges are not perfectly sharp so it's always more realistic if you just add this gentle bevel on those edges so i'm going to click on escape i'm going to click on one of this arc as i said very gentle so i'm just going to make this one i'm going to click on this i'm going to make this one i'm going to click on this and i'm going to just make this one i'm going to do the same for this click on this make this one so now this is done, we are just going to click on this material and we are going to assign a metallic material to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and I'm going to duplicate. Right click, duplicate and I'm going to call this 01 Grail Metal. Then once I've done this, I'm just going to click on this box and I'm going to assign a new material to it. So I'm going to go under this appearance, I'm going to go under metallic, I think here. Then I'm just going to assign a gray metallic material. Make sure I click on graphics and make sure I click on this use render appearance. And I'm going to click apply and I'm going to click OK. So now this is done. I'm just going to click on finish. So I'm going to go back to this plan view. Click on finish again. Then I'm going to click on align. Shortcut is AL. I'm going to click on this reference plane. Click on this face here and lock it. Click on escape. Then click on AL again. That is align tool again. Click on this reference plane. Click on here. Then lock it in place. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control S and I'm going to save this family. So I'm just going to save it as um, Grail panel. Then after I've saved it, I'm going to click on save. 
then let me just wait for it to save then i'm going to click on load into project and close so now i'm just going to click on load into project and i'm going to close this so now i've loaded it into this project we are now going to go to our cutting wall family duplicate it and create our grail family so we're going to go to a plan view in this case i'm going to go into the ground floor i'm going to go under these walls here under these walls i'm going to click on this cutting wall i'm going to click on edit type and i'm going to click on duplicate and i'm going to name this 01 grail panel so i'm just going to click ok so now i'm going to be changing the parameters of this cutting wall system to fit in this grill because remember i've already loaded in our grill panel firstly i'm going to edit the layout i'm going to click on this vertical grid and i'm going to set it at fixed distance i'm going to click on this and i'm going to check it at fixed distance so you remember that we set the width of it to be 1.2 meter so our vertical grid layout is going to be 1.2 remember we set the maximum height at 100 millimeter so what we are just going to do is we are just going to use 125 millimeter for this horizontal spacing so now what we are going to do we are going to add some munions the only munions we are going to be adding is the border munion so we are going to click on it and we are going to be adding our normal rectangular main munions so i'm just going to be adding only the border munions so now this is done i'm just going to go over to this cutting panel i'm going to click on this drop down then i'm just going to see this grill panel that is what we created then i'm going to click apply and i'm going to click ok so of course in drawing cutting ones you are going to make sure these parameters are set well so this 300 to lintel level so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw it outside the wall first and i'm going to draw it from this point to this point so of course it's telling me duplicate mark values it doesn't really mean much i'm going to click on escape so let's go and see what we've done in 3d view okay so you can see how this is looking you can see this grill panel you can see all the individual grills you can see that bevel and detail of how it is so let's try and place it inside the wall so let's just go back to this ground floor let's just look for where likely there will be a duct even though i didn't create a duct let me just delete this window here and let me try and run a duct from ground to first floor so i'm going to delete this window here and i'm just going to draw a duct so i'm going to click on wall again then i'm going to set the parameter from dpc to let me change it to lintel too so it will go all the way up so i'm going to draw it to about 600 and i'm going to click escape so if i go to 3d view now you can see the duct you can see the grail system so you can see how good it's looking so this can be very versatile like i said you can use it for different tools you can use it for to hide your pipes you can also use it for sun shading devices if you want to create a shading devices easily you can assign wooden materials to it create wooden millions and it's very versatile so if this video was helpful reward us by hitting the like button subscribe to our channel for more content like this always hit the notification bell because okay don't always hit the notification bell hit the notification bell once and always hit the like button okay without out of the way i'm going to wish you good luck till we meet again in the next video thank you very much